Welcome to the box office. We got a lot of product done this week. Five more boxes ready to go. Everett got six is super close behind. Hopefully gonna be done by the end of today. So we got three finished and a couple more that are just about ready to have the finish put on. I am absolutely loving the scotch braiding that we do. We figured out that scotch braiding gives a really worn look, but it keeps it from looking too brittle and it just rounds the corners and it makes it feel nicer in your hands like it's an old box that's been you know just handled a lot makes it makes the value go up so you're gonna charge them more that's or... a good idea <laughs> nah, give them a deal <laughs> let them know they're getting a superior product yeah we just put up a station right here mounted this it's actually a grinder delta grinder onto the wall but got the scotch right wheel on there and we go from the wire brushing Everett wire brushes every single part, every single wenge part, or wange, depending on uh, where you live. And we go right over here to the scotch brake wheel, and we polish it out. And it just, Everett, Everett was saying, even saying that it looks better. Yeah, it's a look weathered, but also looks a little bit nicer, right? Everett's just staining a few parts here. This is black stain. I hope so. <laughs> Quite a few. These are mahogany parts, so it's got some good grain in there. Makes it look a million years old. 300. 300 is what we're going for about. Real happy, again, with the uh, just the rounded corners and just the no sharp edges. You'd have to kind of see it in person to see what the weathered look does to it, but I'm really happy we found that. Everything's going to be way more accurate because this CNC was not bolted securely onto this plate, onto the Z axis, so it was just rocking back and forth. And so I had like this organic amount of play that I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I, try, I thought maybe it was in the control. I thought it wasn't touching off. I thought maybe the flags were off, but eventually I just figured out that it wasn't bolted down. I'm not sure if it was my part because I kind of messed with that at one point. Um, but anyways, I fixed it now and everything is like dialed right in. I'll have to make a video because I check everything with a mic. I set the Z actually with a mic. Okay, so for everybody interested in the Fibonacci box, I have been working on some prototypes. I'm just going to show them here quickly because I don't really have anything super solid yet. But just some basic components here. And uh, it'd be nice to cut all the miters on the CNC, but it's a trade-off of accuracy versus repeatability and efficiency. I do have a design pretty much done. I just want to keep tweaking it over the next couple of months so that I get uh, some really good other features in there. Because over time, as you build these things, figure out ways that you can improve the product. I mean, is that not right, Everett? Huh? Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. What do you, what and that's what we want, the perfect product. Perfectly improved in every way possible. Of course. So what you got, Josh? What's the, what's the hack for this week? What's the shop tip? Keep the spindle tight. That was my tip. Well, this is everybody's favorite segment, Everett's joke slash tips week. Oh boy. Thing. Whatever he <laughs> says is not, um, we do not fully endorse it. <laughs> We're definitely not endorsing any messages from a Look, friend. look, it's good advice, okay? Whenever you borrow something, always borrow from a pessimist, all right? Okay. Because they don't expect it back anyways. Well, yeah, that's, no, that's actually good sound. Yeah. 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 Average clocking out for the week. I think they would probably assume at some point. <laughs> Check out all of these hoses. We even have a hose for this thing set up. So it collects the dust so we're not breathing this in. I would say I would I kinda wanna lower this shelf just so that we can collect more of the dust because some of it was going underneath I saw. But uh that is a strong shop pack and it does really well so far. I got this uh sanding mop. It would work for some things. It's it's a little too coarse for for what I want to do right now, but over time if I keep using it, eventually be soft enough i want to do moving forward in boxes is to chamfer like every single edge whether or not you know it's something that's on the outside just because it makes your fits 
better because then you don't have any burrs on the edge adjusting the fits. And also it just looks so much better when you have chamfered parts. Isn't that, isn't that right, Josh? And this thing could kind of do some of those really small edges that you can't get to because it just, it has a whole bunch of these little fibers that get in between every, all the little small parts like this, for example. Be interesting trying to chamfer or deburr a small part like this, chamfer those edges. We'll see. Joiner over here. A couple of these puzzle chests going out this week, next week. Shipping table's working out well. Right now it's got some tools on it because I was been, you know, messing with the box and stuff. Shop's running pretty well. Just keep improving the process. You pick up little things that nobody else picks up sometimes. Like, uh, and then when somebody else does your job and you go back and look at it, it's like, well, I would have done it this way, but, you know, it looks a little better if you do this, but you guess that works. <laughs> okay, so it's been a fun, fun-filled evening. The water buffalo is hitting the road. Just the buffalo. Just the buffalo. <laughs> To water buffalo. See you. Guys. See you. Yep, see ya. Yep, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, sending five puzzle boxes a week, pretty consistently. We might be able to up that in the next uh, week or two to like six boxes a week. So we'll see how that plays out. Thanks for watching these videos and comment if you'd like to see any part of the process specifically, and we can touch on that. All right, later. <laughs>